my name is Maya, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with my twin sister Chloe and my girlfriend Kate and we're going to be doing the Disney tag. Basically we're just going to answer a whole bunch of questions about Disney so that you get to know more about all of us. So the first question is, who is your favorite Disney character? You go first. Okay, I have two. Um, one of them is Hercules, because what a babe. And then my second one is the Hatbox Ghost and pretty much any other character in the Haunted Mansion. Okay, so mine's either Ariel or Merida, because if there's any red-haired character, I automatically <laughs> yeah. love them the most. And then I decided to be basic on this one and say Mickey Mouse, because he's my boss and he's the cutest <laughs> thing ever. The second question is, who is your favorite Disney villain? For this one, I said Mother Gothel and Dr. Facilier. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, I did Madame Medusa from The Rescuers, because she's just horrifying. Mm -hmm. uh, I did Maleficent because Sleeping Beauty is one of my favorites, and I used to know her entire monologue by heart when I was a kid, and also Frollo from Hunchback of Notre Dame because oh, he's good. He he's terrifies me. Like a rapist. I hate gold. him, but he's also such an amazing Because he could be real. Like, yes. Yeah, no, I said very realistic villain. So, question number three is, who is your favorite hero? I chose Hercules because, like you said, total babe. Mm -hmm. I also chose Hercules. <laughs> so, I chose Prince Philip because she's like the base. We give you like the, the relative, re wait, what? We give you the relevant <laughs> answers. Maya okay. gives you the old school answers. I love Sleeping Beauty. Um, but Prince Philip was like one of the few princes to actually like, do something. Yeah, he's cute. Mm -hmm. yeah, and like, he's also beautiful. I just, I love Sleeping Beauty. Okay. <laughs> the fourth question is, who is your favorite heroine? Um, I said Megara. I said Esmeralda or Mulan. And I said Esmeralda. Mm. Number five is, who is your favorite Disney princess? Um, I said three. So I've got Rapunzel, Tiana, and Belle. I did uh, Merida or Ariel again. Same reason. They're just, they're just the best. <laughs> yeah. And then I also have three. These are all of my favorite princess movies. Also my princesses. Um, my favorites are Tiana, Rapunzel, and of course, Aurora. Mm -hmm. So question number six is who is your favorite Disney prince? And I chose Aladdin. Like, have you seen him? He is oh my gosh, beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> For favorite prince, I did not include Stephen Beauty in this one. <laughs> well, uh, my favorite princes are Naveen and Eugene. Mm. My favorite princess. I think are... Naveen is number one most beautiful prince out of all of them. That, yeah, and you can good. literally fight me if you disagree. He's beautiful. I also said Eugene and Naveen. Continuing on. <laughs> number seven is who is your favorite Disney animal sidekick? Um, I said Maximus and Pua from Moana. I had a hard time with this one, but I ended up settling on Sebastian because I like his sass. Okay. So, so I technically have two, I'm counting, well I technically have three, I'm counting the first two as one, because I said Figaro from Pinocchio and also Jiminy from Pinocchio, oh. Jiminy Cricket, so they're both kind of Pinocchio, and then I also said Doug from Up. Oh, oh that's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you. Number eight is who is your favorite human sidekick, and originally when I filled this out I said Vanellope Von Schweetz, and she's still up there for me, I love Reddit Ralph. But I just recently saw the new Beauty and the Beast live action movie, yes. and LeFou is now up there for me. <laughs> yeah. So, also LeFou. Yeah. I did All American Boy from Sky High. <laughs> you gotta go with an OG Disney movie, because that one is A1. And I said Crunk. <laughs> My spinach pops. <laughs> Number nine is what is your favorite Disney princess movie? For this one, I said Tangled, Princess and the Frog, and Beauty and the Beast. So pretty much all my favorite princesses. <laughs> so I did Tangled, Brave, and The Little Mermaid. This is you can see a you see a pattern pattern because mine <laughs> are Sleeping Beauty, uh, Tangled, and Princess and the Frog. We all have tangled. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's the number one, I guess. <laughs> Question number 10 is, what is your favorite non-princess movie? And I have quite a few. I did The Rescuers, The Aristocat, <laughs> Hunchback of Notre Dame, and I was debating on Lilo and Stitch because it's just great. But yes. the other three definitely made Lilo and Stitch. Mm -hmm. I said Up, Hercules, and The Incredibles because they're just the best movies. I love it. And I was like, what are you doing? I was like, why are you pointing at my boobs? Mr. Incredible Dance Party. Mr. Incredible Dance Party. 
Um, Insert a clip. Um, yes, please. I don't know how to we do don't know that. How to do that. <laughs> if you're watching this, you've probably seen it. So imagine. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then for me, I said Pinocchio because that's like my number one yeah. all-time favorite Disney movie. Then 101 Dalmatians and The Aristocats. Then we have what is your favorite scene in a Disney movie? And you can guys. Okay. I was gonna say it, but then we haven't been doing that. <laughs> um, I said. I wasn't. You said they saw it. Um. So mine are the first one's really obscure, but I said the dinner slash food fight scene from Hook, like the imagination okay. scene. Um, and the slow motion scene in Moana during Know Who You Are, because oh, I literally bought my eyes out during that part. So. <laughs> Okay, so I chose, you know, in Colors of the Wind when Pocahontas says that line and she turns into the like colors the art of the style wind. Changes that, so that's pretty. so pretty. Mm -hmm. And then I said the lantern scene from Tangled because it's just oh. so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that scene during Celebrate the Magic. Um, you have hair on you. Put your hair back up. Okay, I got it. Tears. <laughs> <laughs> Number 12 is what is your favorite Disney song? I chose Zero to Hero. Because how can you not bop to that song? It is literally the best song ever. Like, I love that song. <laughs> now, I gotta fight you on that one because I chose I'll Make a Man Out of You. Okay, that's also that, a good That one. is like this the is, most If you want song. empowerment as a woman, Make a Man Out of You is the yeah. best one. Um, I originally, well, Almost There is always number one. Almost There from Princess and the Frog. Um, I had uh, Where You Are from Moana, and that's still up there, but I'm also gonna add. Um, Zero to hero from her days. <laughs> so question number 13 is who is your favorite Disney couple? And I chose Eugene and Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. I did Carl and Ellie Fredrickson from Up. <laughs> I have three. Um, I did Pongo and Perdita from 101 Dalmatians. I did Thomas and Duchess from the Aristocats. Mm -hmm. And I did Giselle and Robert from Enchanted. Oh my god. The loves of my life, honestly. Number 14 is favorite Disney kiss, and I chose Flynn and Rapunzel, or Eugene and Rapunzel, because oh, it's so big. It gives me goosebumps <laughs> just thinking about it. Like, it's mm -hmm. so awesome. I did Lady and Tramps first yeah. kiss. It is the most iconic, 100%. Mm -hmm. I also did Eugene and Rapunzel, because you're just waiting for it all time. I also like Belle and the Beast, because she goes for it. She does. <laughs> dun, dun. Number 15 is who has your favorite hair? Um, I said, I was gonna say Rapunzel, but then I thought that was the easy answer. Yeah. So I went with Aurora because whose bangs work like that? It's literally not but It's beautiful. <laughs> um, and also Ariel's because it's so beautiful. Swoopy. Swoopy out. I said Meg. Again, obviously Hercules Impossible is, is hair clear standards. Because I was gonna cosplay Meg and it's. There's, you can't do it. It's literally impossible. And I chose Merida. Big shock there. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. Her hair is so beautiful. If I grew my hair out and let it be natural, it would be like almost mm -hmm. halfway there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Question number 16 is who is your favorite fairy? And I was very basic and I chose Tinkerbell because she's so sassy. I love her. I also chose Tinkerbell because she is actually also one of my like favorite Disney characters ever. So I'm going to get roasted, but I said none of them because I think they're all really annoying. You don't like Tinkerbell? <laughs> no. I think she's annoying. She's I think beautiful. if you only watch the first Peter Pan. She can't. Not I, 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 like her, I like her in the Peter Pan movies because she's a bad I don't like her in the new In the movies, movies and the TV shows, she's really annoying. And I don't like Flora, Fauna, or Meriwether either. Which that hurts me because I love Fauna, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I curse. This is a Disney video. Number 17 is favorite dance, and I chose the hula class at the beginning of Lilo and Stitch, which is kind of weird, but I watched that movie right after I took a hula class with my dance history teacher, because I'm a dance major, and it's literally like so perfect, like how they like put their hands forward and then they like clap twice at the end, like it's exactly what they do, and it was just so accurate, like I like started crying, because I thought it was so cool. So. Um, well, first one I did is just iconic, I did Beauty and the Beast during yeah. Beauty and the Beast, and then, of course. I said, oh, well, she's Briar Rose in this scene, when Briar Rose and Philip dance in the forest to Once Upon a Dream. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I did Belle and Beast as well, because, like, the way her dress mm -hmm. swoops, it is iconic. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh. Animated and live action. Both yes. beautiful dance. I was worried about the dress live action, but when I saw it, it, it looks yeah, like, I, was I didn't like it. I didn't it like it at first when I saw it, like, pictures of it, but then it moving is, like, a yeah, horror thing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Number 18 is your favorite Disney sequel, and I did Return to Neverland, which is the sequel to Peter Pan. 
I did Little Mermaid too because I grew up in that movie and Melody was my favorite. Okay, me too. Little Mermaid too. Was I it Return to the one. Sea? I don't I think that's what it's called. I just called it Little Mermaid too. I, I don't watch that movie. movie gets so much hate. It gets Get so much hate. Everyone hates it. Probably. Okay, we're talking about Little Mermaid too. It's, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Number 19 is favorite outfit, and for this, I chose Mary Poppins' white dress. It's, it's so elegant, and it's very, it's got a lot of, like, Victorian aspects to it, and that's my favorite style, is Victorian, and it's, oh, I love it. Oh, there she goes. This you can't talking. Talking. Okay, so my favorite dress is Belle's yellow dress in the movie, or... I think it came out in 2015, the live action Cinderella dress. Oh, so beautiful. Ooh, give it to the me. layers. Oh. Um, just like, I, she's I, so skinny. I'm emotional over it. I love that movie. Um, I tried to think of something really out of the box for this one, um, and I came up with Jane's yellow dress from Tarzan. Oh, it's so I gorgeous. I love Jane. And I'm gorgeous. surprised you didn't do Giselle's dress. It's like, Should we the next question? It's so I talk about Giselle. <laughs> Question number 20 is favorite wardrobe, and I didn't choose a singular character, I just thought all the outfits in Aladdin were really oh, good because they were just so colorful and yeah. accurate. Um, I said Giselle from Enchanted because I literally love all her dresses, mm -hmm. they're so gorgeous. <laughs> I said Tiana because literally everything she wears is beautiful from her yellow dress at the beginning to the blue dress at the party and her green dress at the end. And that's it. And, no, and her dream sequences. Well, not really oh, yeah, yeah, the, the flower. Oh, I was like, like what are we are, her this imagination. Is, this is not, Anastasia is not Disney. Yes, her, if Anastasia was Disney, I would have chosen Anastasia. The white, the white dress that she wears with like the fur and the feather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number 21 is your favorite setting in a Disney movie. And I said Neverland from Peter Pan because just mermaids and pirates and it's beautiful. I chose Atlantis from Atlantis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to go with the Scottish Moors and Castles from oh. Brave. That's good. I hadn't seen that movie in a while, we watched it recently, and it's like, it's so, so good. Ooh! I'm looking at the movies over there. Also, Meet the Robinsons. Mm, until one. it gets evil. It's got a cool thing. I thought you were going to say Zootopia. We need to watch it. Zootopia has a cool thing, too. Yeah, we haven't seen that movie in a long Meet time. Meet the Robinsons? Yeah. Number 22 is favorite Disney soundtrack, and for that I said Beauty and the Beast. Obviously, when also I was adding like, live action into that. Yeah, movie. adding live action, because when I shuffle either of the, in, even the Broadway version, I never skip any of those songs like mm -hmm. every single adaptation of it is always beautiful and then i said a goofy movie because obviously <laughs> okay i said tarzan because i oh, think yeah, tarzan I put, so yeah phil collins oh, yeah i almost so put tarzan good. online too um i said too uh hunchback of notre dame just mm -hmm. because oh just the ensemble work and the music in that movie is beautiful and then i said hercules as well because just every song in that soundtrack is lit and then i guess i'll we'll also add the live action beauty and the beast movie because Evermore? I was, I was adding Evermore to favorite Disney songs at the oh, beginning, right. please. Mm. Right. I was going to say Hercules for mine, but I try to switch it up because all of my answers pretty much have been Hercules. 23 is what is your favorite ride at Disneyland? And I haven't been to Disney World. I've only been to Disneyland. And I've never been to Disneyland. And we've never been to Disneyland. <laughs> so I, from my childhood, I remember it being the Flying Dumbo ride. Mm -hmm. But if I went back I mean, yeah, now, they still have they have that Disney World, so. I know, but I, I feel like if I went back now, it would be Pirates of the Caribbean. That scarred me as a child. Right. I think I would enjoy it now. Right, yeah. So then we're going to do number 24, which is favorite ride at Disney World. And my all-time favorite is Tower of Terror, followed closely by Space Mountain and Haunted Mansion. Um, my I lied, not Space Mountain. Expedition Everest. Sorry. My number one favorite is the Haunted Mansion, followed very closely after by the Tower of Terror and then Expedition Everest. Number 25 is favorite show at the parks, and I said Fantasmic because Maya and I literally always cry whenever we watch it. Yeah, and we know all of Mickey's choreography, and it's like... And then he does it. Era Fantastic is my favorite too, just because, well, Sorcerer Mickey like means a lot to yeah. our family. Um, we loved um, watching Fantasia when we were kids, and Fantastic reminds me of going to the parks when I was little, mm -hmm. and we have a little Sorcerer Mickey head in our car. Number 26 is favorite restaurant to eat at in the parks, and for me, uh, when we went in November, we got to eat at Be Our Guest, mm -hmm. which I had the best sandwich ever. I think it was Ruben. I don't remember. It was so good. And then also just the atmosphere and the, uh, just the whole thing the is ambiance. so beautiful. You're in the freaking, uh, you're in the ballroom. And then going to the West Wing, wing into the portrait gallery. It's so pretty. 
Mine is the Yachim Yeti in Animal Kingdom, and one is just because the food is amazing, and two is because I have celiac disease, which means I can't have flour, and Disney is really good at accommodating for that, but Yachim Yeti is the first place that I ate at. I that it's I Yachim Yeti. <laughs> oh, am I saying Yacht? Yeah. Who well, correct you, it's Yachim Yeti. <laughs> it's Yachim Yeti. Um, uh, that was the first place that I went to there that I requested something gluten-free, and they had, like, the executive chef come out and, like, ask what I want and how he was going to fix it and it was just like really awesome because usually if you have like a food allergy then you're like have to compromise but I actually got like special service which was really awesome which is just another thing that's awesome about Disney so. Question number 27 is scenes that never fail to make you cry and I chose well I, I have two kind of mm -hmm. so the beginning of Up yeah, obviously, that one obviously if you don't cry you have no soul like <laughs> and also when Ray and Evangeline are like together in the sky at the end of yeah uh, for my, I said down in New Orleans for Nally, which is yeah. the song when you see them, and it just, it just makes me so happy because Deanna gets her fresh dress. It's so when he gets stepped on, I'm balling. Uh, <laughs> I just love Princess and the Frog. Um, and then also I had written down Baby Mine from Dumbo, but I just recently watched Brother Bear for the first time in a while, and when he says he, that Coda needs him, don't bring it up. I'm gonna cry. And he and he gets to put his paw on the wall. <laughs> I love Brother Bear. Also, like, sadness-wise, the scene when you find out that Coda killed his mom. Not Coda, when, um, Kenai killed his- mm. killed Coda's mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, for mine, I- <laughs> I have 33 on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> um, for mine, I said when Riley comes home in Inside Out, oh. and, like, her parents come in and she just starts crying, because it's, like, I like, that I early. That and it's just, like, my parents cried on Yeah, me. um, and then I also said the ball scene from Enchanted when they dance together, because I literally cry every time, like when he sings in her ear, because at the beginning he says he doesn't sing so or dance in her ear. So close! Don't, don't so make me cry. It's still so far. I don't know if those are the lyrics. It so. is. Um, oh, I keep looking over there. I always cry at the end of Zootopia. Whenever Nick gets his badge, I literally <laughs> cry every time. It's so cute. cute. <laughs> Number 28 is your favorite non-human sidekick, and I said the genie and Lumiere, especially the live action version with you and McGregor, like <laughs> everything to me. <laughs> um, I said Phil from Hercules. I really, I'm like, my brain is like, his fine. name is Phil. It is. It's Phil. That's Phil's boy. Yeah, it's Phil. It's Phil. <laughs> it's Phil. Um, I'm like, have, I'm afraid of him, sorry. Um, and my second one is also Lumiere, especially the live action version. Maybe a little bit more yeah. than the original. Cause yeah. I'll have to go with Genie as well. Yeah. Number 29 is favorite Disney or Disney Pixar short. And for that, I said Feast. Because I, like, I, like, Matchbox Girl, like, it's sad, but it doesn't make me cry. But Feast will make me cry. I don't know why. And my second favorite is Lava because I cried when I first saw that one too. Mm -hmm. My favorite is Chess Game and I also like Piper. Yeah. Um, my favorites are Feast because I always cry, Paper Man as a more basic answer but still amazing, yeah. and then TikTok Tale because mm -hmm. I also cry. Yeah, I cried that one. one. But it's like a happier cry. Yeah. Well, sad at the beginning, happy at the end. Number 30, we have favorite Disney owned property, so something that they bought. And this one was very obvious for me, it was saying Lucasfilm, because I love Star Wars, obviously. My favorite Disney-owned property is Pixar, because all if Pixar movies... No, Disney owns Pixar now. They've all... Have they not always owned Pixar? Mm -hmm. Oh, they should just work with them. I'm a fake fan. I was gonna say, wait, Planes is... Not Pixar. Planes is Disney. All Pixar movies are good. <laughs> <laughs> and mine is Lucasfilms as well. And then I might just add number 31 as what are your favorite Star Wars characters? Well, I've never seen Star Wars, um, but me and Kate. This is this. unfair for me. I don't um, know. And I'm just gonna list a whole bunch. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I God. just made this one up, so I have to. My think. favorite's Jabba the Hutt. Oh, I'm Yama. Yama. Yeah, I don't have to see the movies to know that my favorite is Jar Jar Binks. Thank you. <laughs> Signing off. Anyway, those are my two. My all-time favorite is C3PO. Obviously, um, I wish you could meet him at the parks. Like I would probably blow my eyes out. I love C3PO. Um, Cassian. Krennic, both of them from mm -hmm. Rogue One. Rogue One was so amazing. Uh, Poe from okay, The Force Awakens. She loves all the characters. You can't spend Padme, and obviously okay, Leia. Kate, okay, obviously Leia. I think C-3PO is like, if I had to pick a favorite, because like he's a robot with anxiety. If, he has if it, I was a character, I would be a robot with anxiety. And he's wearing a crop top. Yeah, I love, I love 
I don't know much about Star Wars, but I know that C-3PO is wearing a crop top. Uh, the last question is, who are your favorite of the seven dwarves? Mine is Bashful. I think Doc, because he's in charge. Oh, Daddy. Yeah. And I said, um, Bashful. Mine would either be Happy or Bashful, because Bashful, like, literally makes me blush when I watch the movie. I love him so much, and then Happy is just... And then I also relate to Sleepy. I'd be yeah. Dopey, because I'm stupid. Dopey's so. also a big <laughs> yeah. I love Dopey. Alright, so that was our Disney tag. I hope you learned a lot about us. And hopefully when I go on my DCP, you will already have a lot of information of the things I'm most excited about when I get there. So, this has been Chloe. This has been Kate. I am Maya and Mickey. And thank you for watching. Her ears are from Etsy. We'll link them in the description below. And mine are from Disney Parks. I don't know. And these, these are, are from Etsy too. I'll link them both in the description. Um, so thank you for watching. And subscribe and like and comment below if you have any more questions you want us to answer. Thank you. Bye. Bye.